So I wanted to ask you, you've been at it for three seasons now. What made this season different for you? Well, I like that the I like the um, differentiation of the type of magic. It was like it was very like uh, Sabrina, Path of Night, Light, Hell, Black Satan, and White, yeah, Blackwood yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. focused in the first two parts, and to introduce the whole pagan element, I felt was such a cool addition because it just expanded so cool. our whole our, world. Like, it made universe. it bigger because then it's like, oh, there's other types of magic and right. other witches out there. <gasps> like, it makes it so I much like more that. fun because then the possibilities are so much more endless. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Mm -hmm. um, Rockland, <laughs> specifically for you, you are one of the youngest non-binary actors in Hollywood. Sure am. And as another non-binary person... <laughs> yes, I knew I loved you! <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna let y'all have this one. Oh, it's a bonding moment. seriously really empowering to see another LGBTQIA plus person enacting an LGBTQIA plus role. Thank you. How it's so been? cool to be interviewed by someone who's <laughs> non-binary. So, this is, might be a first for me and this makes me very, very really? pleased. Yeah, um, it comes with a lot of pressure, obviously, but it's to have connections like this and to see the Instagram messages and to be a change maker, to have a voice, makes it so worth it. Like, like moments like this are the ones where I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Like, I'm doing something good. I think it's easy in this in this bubble of an industry to sort of get caught up in what you're supposed to be and the imposter syndrome that everyone tells you you should have and. I think it's really easy to get swept up by that, but for me, grounding back into like, this is why I do this, I do want to like make change and be here for reasons that aren't just me. I think that's, it, there's a lot of power that comes with that that makes me very, very, very happy and proud to be here. You're doing a phenomenal job. It's yes, baby! Yes. I'm trying my best it's over so here. Good. Take it <laughs> in, cool take it really in. Empowering. For sure. Um, and also, you guys, yeah. you know, there's so many coming of age series and television shows that have been made in the past and obviously Netflix is putting all of these out. What makes Sabrina unique? Well, I think we tell we tell the stories that, that not many people are, are taking the leap and telling and we, we tell it from an angle that not a lot of people are willing to tell it from, I think. Like There's because so we live in this sort of like otherworldly space, I think our, our, our boundaries are a little more blown out. Like we have more power, we have more freedom. Like Screw it, there's Satan and pagans, so why not have a discussion about like sex contraception? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like we have freedom and I think. I also a feel lot like our show does a really great job at not just focusing on the young adult characters too. Yeah. Which I think in a lot of young adult things it's like, oh look at all the teens with their interesting lives oh, and then they're boring parents. Who are struggling. You know? Whereas yeah. on our show we have like Hilda and Zelda and Madame Satan and Blackwood who, who are, are learning all and changing complex, just as much. interesting characters um, that I really love a lot. So getting that whole full spectrum of the world I feel like is cool. And my last question is, with the fact that you also just, you know, stop in a second apocalypse from affecting the world, what do you as actors foresee is going to happen for season four? Ooh, probably another apocalypse. <laughs> if I had to guess, we sure like those. Um, well, I think it's going to be, going to be, you know, zanier. I think I think it'll be. I'm just really, word of the day. I'm just really it's trying word to put that day. word in as much as possible. I think. Because we are such unpredictable human characters, it's it's fun for us and it's fun for the audience to really not know what's coming next and to be able to sort of learn and grow and maybe become a cheerleader and maybe do this thing. And, and I think it adds this element of suspense and surprise that you're growing along with the characters and, and we're growing just as much too. So. I really want y'all to just keep talking about non-binary things straight up. I know, me up. too. Me That's how also. I feel. Oh, I want to just hear that. Yeah, I could just do this for a couple more hours, honestly. Mm -hmm.